Welcome TradingView community to a video all about using the search box to find the exact symbol that you're looking for. Now, what you just saw there is we clicked the search box, we typed in AAPL, which is the symbol for Apple, and now we can access the chart of Apple or the overview page. So as a quick demonstration, when you're on tradingview.com, make sure you find the search box at the top and then type in anything that comes to mind. It could be the exact symbol, or as another example, you could just type in a term that is related to a symbol you're looking for. So we just quite literally spelled out silver, and now we can see all of the silver symbols available to us. When we're ready to head to the chart, we just click launch chart here, and we will go directly now to the silver chart. So you can see how that works from trainingview.com, how to use the symbol search box and how to get right to the chart. Both absolutely important concepts to understand, but let's dive in a little deeper so that when you finish this video, you are an absolute master at using the symbol search. So what you want to understand next is that the symbol search is a way for you to access all of the data that's available to you as a TradingView member. So for example, if we are interested in charting Tesla and we know the symbol, we type in TSLA, we're going to see Tesla right here. We're also going to see the name spelled out for us as well as the exact data exchange it's coming from. It's coming from NASDAQ. And if you're looking for other symbols on other exchanges or to look at other global symbols, we'll just move your mouse down and you'll see all of the different data that is coming into the TradingView platform now specifically for your account. And all of these symbols mention TSLA in some way. But keep in mind, that doesn't mean it is the Tesla symbol you're looking for. You want to read the description very carefully. So here's the description. You want to read it. You want to read the exchange as well. In this case, NASDAQ, that is the NASDAQ in Manhattan, New York City. Make sure you have Tesla selected. Pick the symbol that is connected to the data exchange you want. Now, next up is another important tip here. So if we type in BTC USD, well, keep in mind that right now we have all selected, which means we are searching for stocks, funds, futures, Forex, and all of these other items here. But keep in mind, we are searching all of them combined into one giant search. But if you happen to be just a crypto trader and you don't want to see stocks or funds or futures, make sure you have crypto selected. And if you have crypto selected, everything you search in the symbol search will be narrowed down and filtered by crypto only. So you can filter by asset classes. As you get more advanced, you'll get more comfortable using these filters. There's one more important tip here, and that is the subfilters below. This only happens when you have a specific asset class selected. So as you can see here, we have all selected, the filters aren't there. But if we click crypto, now we can see we have a sources dropdown, we have a types of crypto dropdown and an exchanges that we can select from exchange types. Sources in this example would refer to us specifically seeing the symbol only from those sources. So if we only want to see BTC USD mentioned on Coinbase, well, that's what we just did. We have Coinbase selected, we have BTC USD typed out, and it's right here for our eyes. Let's exit out, and now the symbol repopulates to include every exchange and data source that is available to you as a TradingView member. Now, keep in mind that you have different options depending on the asset class you select. So if you only wanted to see, for example, share uh, uh, Tesla, but by a specific country, USA, well, select USA, and now you only have specific symbols that have Tesla that mention USA data sources. Pay close attention because this says Tesla exploration, but it says OTC, so this is not Tesla. And look at the symbol, and, and there's look at the icon. But if you look at Tesla here, the car company with the icon, with the exchange, now you know you found the right symbol. Two more tips here so you can truly just become an expert at symbol search and get really good at TradingView. And that is the aspect that as you create your TradingView account, as you get good at your symbol search, you're going to want to build a watch list. Now, the reason why that's important is because your watch list effectively becomes your saved portfolio or your saved symbol searches or the symbols that you care about that you're always searching for. So as you can see here, we have our watch list built and all it takes is one click and the chart instantly 
updates. Now, the point here and why this is so important is then once you build your watch list, you don't necessarily have to use the symbol search every single time. You can just open up your watch list and here are the symbols available to you one click away. To add symbols to your watch list, you want to click the add symbol button and then type in the symbol you're searching for and then add it to your watch list using these little plus icons. This X would remove it from our watch list. It means we've already added it to our watch list. So this is a key next step because as mentioned, this is effectively going to become your saved symbol search and you can have more than one watch list. We will walk you through our watch list in future videos and it's also in our help center. Now, a final tip for those of you who have stuck around this whole video is a really great tip because did you know you can create equations? For example, if we wanted to add up Apple plus Amazon, we could just quite literally type in Apple plus Amazon and press enter. So the symbol search is also a place for you to type out quick equations. And what you're going to notice is you have all of the operators right here to the right in the symbol search that you can access as needed. So as another example, why don't we do SPY, which is the S&P 500 ETF, and let's add that together to QQQ, which is the NASDAQ 100 ETF, and then let's divide that by Bitcoin. And what we're doing now is we are pricing these two very large equity ETFs in Bitcoin because we've added them together and then divided by BTCUSD. We used our operators here. We click enter. And now we have an equation chart right before our eyes. In addition, we can even add this equation to our watch list so that we never lose it. And we can find it right here in our watch list search, which is a great, fast, quick tip especially if you're writing out complicated equations. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, you now have the basics of the symbol search. And to really take this video back around to where we started, we're going to end up right here on tradingview.com because we just want to remind you that you don't always have to click launch chart, right? That's how we got to the chart in the first place. There's an overview button here too. If you click see overview, you will be right here on the symbol overview page, which offers you an alternative bird's eye view of the specific symbol you're looking at. It's got specific data points here, such as news, ideas, technicals, economic calendar. It's a little bit of a different look. And depending on the symbol you search for, you will find unique items in this tab menu. For example, if we happen to search for crude oil futures, you'll see we have the capability to click forward curve or contracts. So as you get really good with the symbol page, you'll uncover the special items. And depending on what it is you need, whether you're going to the chart or the symbol page, you're going to have these tabs to give you a step deeper into that specific symbol. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. And always remember, you can start at the symbol search as well. And there's a button here that says see on super charts. You can always get right back to the super charts as needed. Look at this. We're looking at crude oil futures chart. So this is the video we wanted to make to introduce everyone to the symbol search. And whether you're an expert, an absolute professional at TradingView or someone new, well, hopefully you learned something new in this video and you now have exactly what you need to get started.